Sentman Sentman. Um, today, what we're looking at is is how to do groove templates. Um, we're going to do it in Cubase first, and then in Reza. So Cubase, <coughs> as you can see, our quant size is 16. So it's up there. So what we're going to do is import audio file. This is just a folder of audio files I've got. I'm bringing them in. The, the Big Fish Rock Stars one. Um, and they're in the key C, you can see there. So that's our right drum beat. I'm going to take that one. Make sure you always copy to Wicked Directory. Okay, there, make that a bit bigger. You can see it's overlapping, that means we're not on tempo. So because I know it's 100, click that to fixed. Double click, just type in 100 and click enter. You should bring it up. When you click on that again, press P. And as you can put your loop on. Very nice, very nice. Um, so what we're going to do is we want that groove. <coughs> As you can see, it's not quite on every every beat or, or, or 16. Yeah. So when we go inside, I did that just by double click. So if you double click on your audio and then double click on this bar here. Or in fact, just click and do that. And you've got it full screen. I'm just going to press F2 to get rid of my transport panel. So as you can see, we've got our bits up here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is put in hit points. Looking that everything's got a bit. Yeah, can you see? So the reason to create groove templates is pretty much... Can you see how it's not quite on? So it's, not, it's not quite on a 16th or a 32. Or yeah. And if we was to create this, we wouldn't wouldn't do it like we wouldn't do it like this. So put your put your hit point sensitivity in. Find the right one for you. Obviously, that's too much, but that seemed about right because it seems like it's got every bit that I want. Yeah, and then you can create groove. Now, because we're going to put it into the groove agent, also create slices. It'll close it for you. Yeah. As you can see up here now, we've got drums at 100 BPM. Yeah, so that's 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 the quantize that we're using. And if you then open an instrument track, and we're going to open the groove agent, add track. Yep, but you're getting sick of groove agent now. Um, so what we're going to do is because we've sliced this up, we're going to put it in the groove agent. Yeah, so drag that, put it in. So we've not on that first one. Right yo. So if you press Alt and K, I'm just gonna show you something. It gives you this little keyboard down here on your transport panel. And this allows you to use if you press tab, it allows you to use your QWERTY keyboard. Yeah? So I'll press tab and you get your things back. Yeah? So that's what I'm gonna use i I'm not setting the keyboard up. Okay. Okay, so I'll just do the thing. So I'm just gonna get that try and get that bit ripping. Uh mute it. Put your pre-click on. Yeah, so hopefully I've got the little thing there. Of that one for any overlaps, just have a listen. Yeah, so in fact, just wait a sec. What I'll do is click that. If you press Alt and K, it'll get rid of your keyboard. If you press that, press P, and then <coughs> so it just gives me that more, more of a human feel. To it, do you know what I mean? Can you see? Look at, look at where it is, where it's catching it at. Do you know what I mean? It's giving you more. It's just humanizing your beats a little more. Okay. See you in a bit.